Hello there! Well, these little animals have been made with paper mache and in this lesson we'll be concentrating on the tiger. So, let's make a paper mache tiger. For our little tiger, we'll be using an A4 coloured paper pad, a deep well plastic palette, some PVA craft glue, brushes, some sellotape and a pair of scissors. If you'd like to try this lesson, there is a printable PDF lesson plan that you can find through the link above. I start by tearing out four sheets of orange craft paper, roll them into an oval shaped ball and tightly bind them together with tape. You don't need a dispenser, but it makes it a little easier. I keep applying tape until I can't feel any movement and the ball is really tight. Next, I tear out another two sheets and cut them into strips, then cut the strips into little squares. These should roughly be about the size of a postage stamp. Once we have our paper prepared, we can start applying it to the taped up ball. Squeeze out some PVA glue into a deep well plastic palette and paint a thin coat over the oval ball. So once the ball is coated in glue, we start to apply the paper one bit at a time. Then add the next, but overlap it slightly over the first. Continue with this until the ball is totally covered with paper. Once it's covered, give it a final all over coat of glue and let it dry. PVA is ideal for paper mache type projects as it dries so clear. For the legs, I roll up a full sheet of paper as tightly as I can and apply glue to the edge of the sheet and finish the roll. I then let this dry. I then create a smaller roll from a quarter of a sheet, glue the edge, finish off the roll and put a gentle curve in it and then let that dry. Once the larger roll is dry, I cut it into four equal sized lengths of about 20 millimeters. Because the ball is round, I cut one end of the tube at a slight angle. The legs are attached with a dollop of glue and gently pressed into position. I then sit the ball on a flat surface and allow it to dry. Next I add more paper around the areas where the legs meet the body. This smooths out the join and makes the joints to the body stronger. If you use a fair amount of glue, you will find that the paper absorbs it and it's easier to shape and manipulate, so it fits around tight curves and undercuts. Once the leg joints are smoothed in, I roughly cut into some circular shapes and apply them to the bottom of the tubes and wrap them around the sides. These will finish off our tiger's legs nicely. Once all four legs are completed, let the glue dry until it is totally clear. The tail can easily be applied with a dollop of PVA and held in position for a minute. I then reinforce the tail with thin bits of paper at the point where it joins the body. You can also speed dry the glue with a hairdryer at any point. Once the tail is complete, I give it a layer of glue to make it even stronger and then let this dry. Next we can create our tiger's ears. It's best to draw out a couple of triangles, then draw a rectangle below the base of each of the triangles. Then cut these shapes out. Bend the triangles at the spot where the triangle meets the rectangle and glue it onto the top of the body. While the glue is still wet, you can slide them around until you're happy with the positioning. Once you're happy, apply some paper over the area where the ears are joined to smooth it all off. Another tip when gluing down paper is if there are any creases in air bubbles, you can use the handle of the brush to push them out. I then apply little triangles of copy paper inside the ears. We can then start painting our little tiger. For paint, I'll be using Montmartre Studio Acrylics. I squeeze out some titanium white and paint it into the lower portion of the face. I take the colour into the belly and into the inside of the legs as well and then let this coat dry. Next we need to mix up a pink and paint in his nose. For this I mix a spot of scarlet into the titanium white. I paint the end of the tiger's tail and then let this dry. I use lamp black for the stripes and mix a little water in with the paint so that it flows easier and apply the stripes with a fine round Taplon brush. Try to thin the lines out as you move down the body and keep the lines equally spread apart if you can. Once you have all the line work on the body done, let it dry so you can pick up the tiger. You can then paint the stripes on his tail. Once the tail has been completed, we can apply some stripes to the legs. The last step is the face. 
from the nose add in two little crescent shapes pop on two little eyes and that's our paper mache tiger <laughs> 